it's normal to be freaked out by your new surroundings. I'm in Medford right now. I'm glad to be in Medford. It's normal to be freaked out by being somewhere else that you've never been or haven't been there regularly, where you don't know anyone, you know, where the culture is different and it's palpable. This happens to everyone. You know, it happens to everyone. But it dawns on me, like the sun behind my head, my hat, my head, my hat, that, like say I were the average um, black person, transgender person, um, was uh, maybe not lesbian, I don't know. If I were the average minority, I guess, based on what the media spouted me for decades, I wouldn't, I would be, I would be scared to set foot here, you know? Be scared to make friends, to feel welcome, right? And that's sad. It's not, it's not, it's not true to reality, you know? Everyone feels that anxiety when they're somewhere that is not their normal fit. It is natural. And it's good that it happens, you know? It's good that it happens in the wrong way. Wait. Wait. It's not there are people next to me, right? I'm trying to get through this. And yes, you know, they know how to judge me. I know how to judge them. That's what I'm getting at, you know. But I can see how someone could blame it in their head on there being a minority as the reason why they feel ostracized. And then they bring that energy to the realm they currently inhabit, that different world, and suddenly they see it reflected in their universe. They see it reflected in the people around them, in the culture around them. Because that was the idea they assumed of what would be the case for them, that they wouldn't be welcomed. Why'd you come? You know, and so many don't. And I think that's sad. I don't think it's something that can be, like, you know, activized. I don't know what the verb is. You know, outspoken against a way. You know, I think it, it has to be resolved through um, recognizing that not every single place is your home, and that at the same time, we are all inhabiting the same country, the same planet, the same state, the same region, same county, you know, whatever it is. You know, I'm playing an open mic here. I'm assuming most people wouldn't realize that I am a transsexual, you know, or that I, oh sorry, <laughs> that I'm not from here, you know, that, um, you know, that, that stuff happened to me at TCNJ last year. Um, you know, they just see a pretty tall girl with a defined jawline and lipstick walking across the street. They know I'm a lesbian, you know, they seem that I probably, which makes sense, because I am a woman, visibly so, attracted to, you know, guys or whatever, you know, and, uh, they see me as whatever I am, you know. So if you come in, you know, looking like a trollop or like a broken man or woman, or like, um, someone void of personal self-worth or personal self-respect or someone who's downtrodden or who has developed this thick shell for whatever reason. And you know what? Whether you're, you know, whether you're emitting all light or absorbing all light, it's going to, you know, it's going to impart your surroundings, <laughs> you know. And I think that well, the media, in any way, in many ways, has shaped minorities' understandings of what they have to expect in a world or a realm that isn't exactly um, to scale reflecting who they are. When if they would just realize that they're a part of a greater whole in some sort of way that 
of course, there's some sort of common ground to build on and thus mutual welcomeness that can be developed. At some point, I think it's the right time in our culture, we will find the holism, holisticness, what it means to be an American, just as um, there's an infinite of ways to be a man or a woman, infinite of ways to be an American. Hopefully I found one, you know. This is my spot. Let's go. Hi, thanks. Hi, Hi Liz. How are you? Good. Oh. Can I hold the door for you here? Oh, yes, you may. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, guys. It wasn't as packed as it looked. <laughs> Just spacious. Oh, my Andrews. Uh, it's from my favorite album, Appetite for Destruction. Uh, yeah.